ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلوات الله وسلامه عليه يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلط منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سريدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما فإن خير الحديث كتاب الله فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار وبعد We start this sermon by saying all praise is due to Allah. We praise Him and we seek His forgiveness. And whoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He chooses to guide then no one can misguide Him. And whoever He chooses to misguide, then there's no one that can give Him guidance. And we bear witness that there is no deity worthy of worship but Allah alone without any partners and we bear witness that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is his servant and messenger. All you who believe fear Allah fear Allah the way he should be feared and do not die except in the state of Islam. O oh, you who believe, um, O oh, people, fear Allah and remember to keep the ties which He has ordered you to keep in which that he has created you from one man and one single woman and from them has created the entire human race and all you who believe fear Allah and say just words he'll rectify for you your statements and your deeds and whoever obeys the law and his messenger has achieved a great success. It's important to know that the greatest speech or the most truthful speech is that of Allah Jalla Jalalu. And the greatest guidance is that of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the worst of the matters are those that were newly introduced because every newly introduced matter is every newly introduced matter is an innovation and every innovation is in the hellfire Ikhwan We are now in what is considered the holy months for the Muslims, specifically the month of Dhul Hijjah. 
In these months, there are some from amongst the Muslims that are now in the holy city of Mecca fulfilling their obligations to Allah Jalla Jalla. And those obligations are pertaining to the fifth pillar of Islam, which is the pillar of Hajj. Allah says, وَلِلَّهِ عَلَى النَّاسِ حِجُّ الْبَيْتِ مَنْ اسْتَطَاعَ إِلَيْهِ سَبِيلًا Allah says in the Qur'an that that which is obligatory upon the people is that they make the Hajj, that they perform the pilgrimage if they are able to. So it is obligatory upon the Muslim who have the ability to make Hajj to do so. And we know, Ya Ikhwan wa Akhawat, that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah had blessed him to make Hajj once before he died. Salawatu Allahi wa salamu alayhi. And Allah had caused this one Hajj to be an event in which from it the Muslims have benefited so much. Not just the fact that the Prophet وسلم, he said to those in attendance for his Hajj, خُذُوا عَنِّي مَنَاسِكَكُمْ Take from me the rights of the Hajj. Because it is only through the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that we know what to do when we go to Hajj. But the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did not just guide us to know how to fulfill our obligation to Allah Jalla Jalalu. But he also made a lot of sermons through the course of his Hajj. Those sermons, in those sermons, the Prophet ﷺ tried his best to give guidance to the Muslims and give them sincere advice because we know, of course, that this religion is based upon advice. Like the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Alayhi he has said in an authentic hadith that is recorded by both Al Imam Al Bukhari and Muslim when he was asked, he said, A deen al nasiha, the religion is advice. So the companions they asked him, The man ya Rasulullah, to who? Who is this advice for? He said, Lillahi. It is advice to Allah. Wali Rasulihi. It is advice to His Messenger. Wali A'immatil Muslimina wa Ammatihim. And it is also for the leaders of the Muslim as well as the general populace. And we understand that giving advice to Allah, meaning to hold on to His commandments and to stay away from His prohibition. And we know giving advice to the Prophet ﷺ entails following His Sunnah. Now, the Prophet ﷺ, in His Hajj, his famous Hajj, his famous pilgrimage, which is called and is known by most Muslims as Hajjatul Wada, the farewell pilgrimage. And the reason why it is called the farewell pilgrimage, it is because not only is this the only Hajj that the Prophet ﷺ made, it was 
one of the main things that he has done before he went back to Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So what are some of those advice in which the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave to his nation during his pilgrimage? One of the things that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam advised was to not commit shirk. He advised the Muslims to stay away from shirk, which is a sickness that has spread through mankind throughout the ages. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam feared that his nation will fall back into it after his, after his death. Allah Jalla Jalalu, He says in the Quran, وَإِذْ بَوَأْنَا لِإِبْرَاهِيمَ مَكَانَ مَكَانَ الْبَيْتِ مَكَانَ الْبَيْتِ وَطَهِرَ أَنَّا تُشْرِكْ بِشَيْءَ وَطَهِرَ الْبَيْتِ لِلْقَائِمِ وَطَهِرَ الْبَيْتِ لِلْ وَطَهِرَ الْبَيْتِ لِلْطَائِفِينَ وَالْقَائِمِينَ وَرُكْعَ السُّجُودِ Allah says in the Quran, and when we gave Ibrahim a place where the bait would be, where the Kaaba would be, we showed him this place, and then we commanded him to not worship anyone along with me, and to purify the house for those who make tawaf and those who stand in prayer and those who bow and make prostration. Another thing which the Prophet وسلم, advised his ummah with during the farewell pilgrimage is to not spill the blood of the Muslim. Now we have to remember something, ya ikhwan wa akhwat, that before Islam, the life of an individual had very little value. And it was something that was easy to take. But in the farewell pilgrimage, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Inna dama'akum wa amwalakum haramun alaykum ka hurmati yawmikum hadha fi shahrikum hadha fi baladikum hadha. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, as part of his farewell pilgrimage, he says, know that your blood is sacred, just as sacred as this month of yours, in this city of yours, and in this day of yours. How many of us, we respect the sacredness of these months. We respect the sacredness of the time of Hajj, of Mecca, of the day of the uh, of the day of Arafah. We respect these days, but for some reason, that same respect, we find it difficult to give our fellow Muslim. And this is an issue in which the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa has clearly stated that those matters are equal. Just like this day, this month, in this city, that is how sacred the blood of the Muslim is. 
Another benefit that we get from the sermon, the final sermon of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam, is the rights of the woman. I said, And fear Allah in regards to the women. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given them to us as a trust. And they have rights which they request from us. And we have to fill that right, fill those, uh, fulfill those rights, or else we will be answered, we'd have to answer in front of Allah Jalla Jalalu for those things in which we are deficient for in regards to their rights. Also, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he gave an advice about how us as Muslims can recognize the truth in this religion when things become unclear. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Man ya'ish minkum Whoever from amongst you is alive to see, is alive long enough, they'll see a lot of differences. So when we see these differences, what was the advice of the Prophet Muhammad Did he advise to reject everything you hear? Did he advise to take everything you hear as the truth? No, the Prophet ﷺ said that the Furqan, the criteria, the thing that you use to distinguish between falsehood and truth, he said, Alaykum bi sunnati. Wa sunnati, wa sunnati, khul al khulafay al rashidin al mahdiyin al min ba'di. He said, in these times, then you should hold on to my sunnah. And the sunnah of the rightly guided caliphate after me. And then he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Abdu alayha bin nawadij, bin nawadij. And bite down upon that with your molar teeth. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Another thing the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam advised us about was about bigotry and racism. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that an Arab has no superiority over a, non, uh, over a non-Arab. Nor does a black person have any superiority over a white and vice versa for both of those. And he gave us the criteria in, to, in the criteria to discern who it is that's the best from amongst us. And he said that that can be distinguished by the taqwa of the person. And the taqwa, it goes back to, to doing that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with and staying away from that which he's displeased with. That is what taqwa is. Doing that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with as much as you can. And when you say as much as you can because we are humans and we fall short. And that is the reason why the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, وَمَا أَمَرْتُكُمْ بِهِ فَأْتُوا مِنْ هُمَا اسْتَطَعْتُمْ And that which I command you to do, do as, do, do as much of it as you are able to. But when it comes to prohibition, the viewpoint is not the same. We don't stay away from 
that which is prohibited as much as possible. No, we have to stay away from all of it. And when we do these things, this is when we reach the level of the muttaqi, the person who truly fears Allah. And it's important to know that it is not possible to reach this level except with knowledge. So with that, I pull up all he had that was stop fearing Allah. Hadi wa lakum wa stop fearing. الحمد لله الذي بنعمته تتم الصالحات له الأسماء الحسنى وصفات العلا أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم شهادة نرج بها النجاة والفواز في الدارين Ayyuh al-Muslimun. In these sacred and blessed months is the time for us to hasten to do good deeds. Whether it is al-istikthar min al-salawat, praying more of the prayer, tahajjud, and nawafil, or whether it is to be diligent on performing our prayer in a way that would please Allah, like praying at the earliest time possible for the salawat al-khams, for the five obligatory salat. Another good deed that some people seem to forget during these times is increasing, increasing one's level of knowledge because without knowledge we will not know or fully comprehend the halal from the haram we won't know what is halal and what is haram and how to implement the worship of Allah Jalla Jalalu in the correct manner reading Quran is good but memorizing what is in those uh, verses of action, implementing them, and understanding how they pertain to you in your life is something that there is more reward for you in it. Because then you will be able to do that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded through your understanding and staying away from that which he disliked through your understanding. ثم صلوا وسلموا على من أمركم الله بالصلاة والسلام عليه فقال جل شأنه إن الله ملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على رسولك ونبيك محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب أقيم الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أي رسالة رسالة أي رسالة قامت السلاة قامت السلاة
Kau, yang tadi lu taras su karibu mana mana kibi buat apa dah? Allahu Akbar. الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا فاسعوا إلى ذكر الله وذروا البيع ذلكم خير لكم إن كنتم تعلمون فإذا قضيت الصلاة فانتشروا في الأرض وامتغوا من فضل الله واذكروا الله كثيرا لعلكم تفلحون وإذا رأوا تجارة أو لهوا انفضوا إليها وتركوك قائمة قل ما عند الله خير من اللهو ومن التجارة والله خير الراسقين الله أكبر الله سمع الله لمن حمله الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا صراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المنضوب عليهم ولا الضالين قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد الله أكبر الله سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله